Three former Stoughton police officers, the focus of a 19 month long internal affairs investigation for allegedly having an inappropriate relationship with a young woman who was later found dead inside her home. The disturbing details were laid out today by the current Stoughton police chief. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni monitored that announcement and she joins us now with the new details. Anita. Well, Shannon and Mike, the Stoughton police chief is looking to have those three former police officers placed on a national decertification list for their alleged actions, meaning they wouldn't be able to serve as a police officer ever again. A 23 year old was found dead in her Canton apartment last February. The next day, a lengthy internal affairs investigation within the Stoughton Police Department was opened, revealing three Stoughton police officers allegedly had inappropriate relationships with the woman. Through a sustained and deliberate com combination of lies, deceit, and treachery. They violated the policies and the core values of the Stoughton Police Department. The Stoughton Police Chief said Friday the young woman, Sandra Birchmore, was mentored by the three officers since she was 13 years old while in the department's Youth Explorers program, which has now been disbanded. The three officers involved in the investigation, Matthew Farwell, his twin brother, William Farwell, and Robert Devine, all three have since resigned from the department. The police chief says the investigation uncovered hundreds of explicit text messages and physical encounters with the girl and the twin Farwell brothers over the course of several years. Evidence shows Officer Devine and another officer with a different Massachusetts Police Department also had an inappropriate relationship with Birchmore. All three men, the Farwell brothers and Devine, violated their oaths of office and should never have the privilege of serving any community as a police officer. Now, no charges have been filed yet. The internal affairs report has been referred to the Norfolk District, Count District Attorney's Office. Boston Media reports the officers involved denied allegations of misconduct. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.